Hey guys and welcome back to Valheim. Today I'm going to teach you how to find anything in any world seed that you want. You're looking for a village, you're looking for treasure chests, you're looking for anything like just just anything. You're looking for the boss locations like the Elder. I want to know where the Mother is, I want to know where Yagluth is, all the possible locations, even the Trader. There's a special tool, a website link in the description that you can go to that basically takes you to this website over here and all you have to do is generate your seed that you have for your world so obviously in your world if you go to escape and you log out I'm going to show you the world seed that I'm using right now you can see here in my world selection the seed that I'm using is this one here so what I'm going to do is take that and copy it directly into the Valheim world generator at the link is shared in the description so I'm going to take my seed and I'm going to put it in the generate option now if your world was made before the latest update you might have to select here because there has been a change to some boss locations like for example modder which wasn't spawning in some maps previously apparently so if you if you made your world before the the latest update then you'll use this if you made it after you'll use this um, if you're watching this video like months from now this probably isn't even relevant anymore so when you're ready all you have to do is click go and it will literally load your seed into this website just give it a few seconds until it loads and eventually it will give you the full world of what your world actually looks like. And you can see if I go into my map in game, you'll see in my map in game, I basically have the same map here. You, you can see I have that same kind of lake over here and this kind of curve of land at the bottom here. Whereas if you look at the, the one on the website, it basically has this curve as well and that little kind of lake over there. So you can see this is the exact same map. And now all you have to do is actually go press this button over here. You can see the world spawn point. Uh, if you want to see where the spawn is, you obviously spawn over there. And you can show the bosses by pressing this. So it will show all the boss locations that you can find. It's not the best seed for all the bosses being close together, but you don't generally want that. You want them to kind of be a little bit spread out so that you have a bit more of an adventure to your Valheim. And you can actually download this map or screenshot it to save it for, for whatever you need to use. It's also great because you can show the trader locations now. The way traders work is the moment you find one, all of the others are going to disappear. So you're not going to be able to go here and have a trader there, a trader there, and a trader there. You can also see there's boss stones over here, which is going to load the, the Vegasveres that you can read to find the boss locations. You can also mark the treasures on the map by pressing the treasures. Again, this does take a while to load, so give it some time. And you can see the world is stocked full of treasure. There is a lot of treasure. Holy crap, there's a lot of treasure on my island. What the hell? And if you're looking for camps of enemies, you can click the show camps icon over here. So it will show you different camps here. Like there's a gray dwarf camp over there, a drake nest over here, a drake nest over there, a drake nest over here. So obviously you're going to see there's a, dr a dragon egg there, there, and there. So if you're looking for dragon eggs, you can use this as well. And you can also mark the burial chambers, the swamp crypts, and the mountain graves that you'll be looking for for certain things like, obviously in the starting area, you'll be looking for certain cores. In the swamps, you'll be looking for your crypts. So you can see there's a bunch of crypts right over here in this swamp over here. And then there's these mountain graves that are marked on the mountains, but I'm not entirely sure what those are. I'm guessing those are those weird big like hole things in the ground where it's kind of just like dug in and there's a chest. I don't know. You can also find troll caves all over the world. There's a lot more troll caves than I really thought there was because this is this is a lot more troll caves than I would have thought, honestly. And if you're looking for bees, you can find the bees at the beehive location over here to find your queen bees. If you're looking for Draugr villages, you can mark the Draugr villages on the map like that. You can also show the villages that you can find in general. These will be these normal villages all around the, the world uh, in like the meadows and stuff like that. The, the kind of like the basic ones. And you can also mark dragon eggs specifically from here as well if you want to find dragon eggs. You can also show all the structures that can be found. Any of the ruined structures, there's a lot of them. So yeah, you're, you're going to find these anyway, so don't worry too much about these. If you're looking for the ruined shipwrecks, you can click here and find those. If you're looking for guck from the swamps, you can find them over here. So the guck locations all over there. And you can also do show miscellaneous and this will just be like stone circle, stone circle, stone circle. I guess these are just the... Random stones? I actually don't know what these are. It's kind of just random, I guess. The crow and any stone circles. That's weird. This is a great way to see where to go. Unfortunately, it does reveal the entire map, so you kind of see, oh shit, there's, there's no planes near me at all. But apart from that, it does give you a bit of a direction. So if you're if you're feeling your need to use this, this is a really handy tool to actually use. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in a future one. Thank you so much for watching.